Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, we're going to be driving in dual carriageway. Many times, many viewers, many learners, they do ask me to drive on the dual carriageway, show them how to drive on the dual carriageway and especially how to change lane in dual carriageway. So let's go and do some driving in dual carriageway today. So let's move off from here. We are parked up on the right hand side. So we need to move off to the left. So we look at the look around, flying spot, signal. So we're in first gear. And we're going to keep looking. I'm on the wrong side. So I need to look. There's a car coming. There's a car. I look over and over. And no one there. Now I go. So when you're, when you're parked up on the other side, it's important that you look both ways who's coming. We go right here. It's quite busy here today. So I'm sure you know what dual carriageway is. So the dual carriageway is two separate carriageways for each opposite direction traffic. So you have your own direction carriageway going your way and you could have two lane, three lane, four lane. And the opposite traffic coming, they have their own carriageway and they could have two lane, three lane, four lane. And to divide that, there is a divider in the middle. It could be grass or it could be railing, separating, dividing each carriageways. That is known as dual carriageway. So we're gonna be driving on dual carriageway especially like I said changing lane many learners or many viewers actually on my channel they do ask me to show them or drive on the dual carriageway and show them how to change lane so this is exactly what we're going to do today here we're going to go left mirror mirror signal left we're going to go left here No one coming on my right, that was a roundabout. And on the roundabout, which way do you give way? You give way on our right. So always make sure you know. On this traffic light coming up, we're gonna be going right and we're gonna be joining dual carriageway. Okay? So we're gonna be going right, signal right. Now to go right, here we have two lanes. Out of the two lanes, we always drive on the left lane. Okay? Always drive on the left lane and we need to go to and when we enter we enter into the left lane okay mirror change here now here we ended up in the middle lane so what do we do we need to go back to our lane which is the left lane mirror mirror signal left signal left okay now remember when you are driving on the dual this is dual carriage by the way okay now, the speed here is 40. How do we know? Because that's the speed, it says 40. Normally, on a dual carriageway, the national speed limit is what? It's 70, okay? Unless the road markings or road sign tells you otherwise. So in this case, the sign is already telling us that the speed is 40, okay? If it was national speed limit, it would have been 70. So we're driving 40 here. And we always drive on the left lane. This is the left lane. You have three lanes. Okay. First of all, how do we know this is a dual carriageway? Is because this is one way and we have a divider in the middle, as you can see, and the other side cars are coming. So this is dual carriageway. Because two ways. This is a carriageway and there's a carriageway on the other side for the other side, the opposite coming from the traffic coming from the opposite. They have their own dual. So cars coming from the opposite. They have their own carriageway. We have our own carriageway. This dual carriageway. Okay. We drive on the left lane always. Unless there's a problem on the road, maybe road works. The car in front is not driving the road speed, then we change lane. Other than that, 
to drive on the left lane always on the left lane the other lanes are for overtaking or maybe turning right so if you want to go right you drive on the other lanes and in normal in general you drive on the left lane you drive in the middle in the middle of your lane Now here this sign, I'm going to be following the west, A33, following the west, which means I need the right lane. I need the middle lane or the third lane. Okay, mirror, mirror, signal, and there is a car. I need to change lane, blind spot, blind spot, they moved over, and I drive here. Okay, if you see the sign here, I'm driving, I'm not going under the bridge. Where there is a motor a roundabout, I'm following the road. Lindhurst in this case, actually. I'm following Lindhurst. Speed here is 40, and I'm driving in the left lane out of the two. Okay. Look at the mirror every now and again. So, when you're driving on the dual carriageway, you will be just driving without needing to do anything else. It'll be long road, and you drive. So every five to eight seconds, look at the top mirror. So look at the top mirror to see what's happening. Okay. And I want to follow Lindhurst. So look at the sign and tell me which lane do I need to follow Lindhurst. There's the sign here. So left lane is going somewhere else and the middle lane and the third lane is Lindhurst. So I'm going to be driving in the middle to follow Lindhurst, as you can see, okay? So if the examiner said for you to follow Lindhurst, look at the sign and look which lane you need. The sign is saying I could go to Lindhurst from middle lane and third lane. So if that's the case, it means I'm going to be driving out of the two, the one on the left, which is this one. And as you can see, the middle one became left lane, okay? And like I said, left lane is normal driving lane. In general okay signs here sign here saying traffic light coming up and as you can see the traffic light now mirror okay you could change you could change now I want to show you how to change lane okay I'm gonna be changing lane mirror mirror signal right blind spot Blind spot, change lane. Okay. I'm going to go back to left lane again, mirror, mirror, signal left, blind spot, blind spot, change lane. Speed here is 50, it's now 50. Roundabout coming up, we're going to be going third exit on the right. Coming back again, third exit on the right. So for that, we need the right lane. So I'm going to show you how to change lane. Mirror, mirror, signal right. And I'm looking at the mirrors, looking at the mirrors. And there's nobody there. Blind spot, blind spot, change lane. Okay, so you look at the mirrors, put the signal on. Look for the gap. When the gap is there, blind spot. And then change lane. Third exit on the right, meaning coming back again on this roundabout. Can you see the picture? Look at the roundabout. Third exit is coming back again. Okay, so mirror, mirror. When I'm here, put the signal on and slow down. Slow down. I'm looking on my right. I'm looking on my right. Okay. And there's nobody on my right. There is, but they're not coming round. Okay, I'm gonna go in the roundabout. Keep signaling right, that's one. This is two, mirror, mirror. Signal left, blind spot, blind spot. And I change lane to left lane. 
I must go back to my left lane to coming off. Because if I didn't, as you can see here, I would end up in the middle lane. Here, signal off. Why? There's a road here. Okay? So as you're coming off from the roundabout, always look if there's a road as you're coming off. Because if there is, take the signal off. If not, leave the signal on. It will come off automatically because normally with the modern cars, the signal works with your steering. Mirror. Keep the distance from the car in front. Speed here is 50. So I'm going to be driving 50, keeping the distance from the car in front. So like I said, this route carriageway is telling us by sign is 50. But if it wasn't, normally national speed limit on dual carriageway is 70. Same as motorway. Speed is 50 here, as you can see. Okay. Driving the left lane. In a minute, I'm going to show you again how to change lane. Okay. Try to keep your car in the middle of your lane. Look far ahead. Keep the car in the middle. Speed now is 50. 40, sorry. Can you see 40? It just started now. Mirror, mirror, signal, blind spot, blind spot, change lane. Now, why did I change lane? Because people are joining here, it's better for me to change lane. Why? It helps them to join. Once I pass that, I could always go back to my left lane again. So if that happens, try to help, help people by changing lane. This is why you have more than one lane. So you could either overtake, you could either go right, or you could help others by changing, they come in and then you go back to your lane again. Okay, it's 40 here. I need to go back to my left lane again. So in a minute, I'm gonna to try to change. They're not going 40. So I'm gonna to try to keep 40 on the right lane. I will be following city center on the sign, as you can see. Can you see city center? It's middle lane and right lane. So I could use either but it's the left lane normal driving lane. I need to go back to my left lane again in a minute, okay? So after this car, I'm gonna to try to come into my lane. Mirror, mirror, signal, and look for the gap, look for the gap, blind spot, blind spot, change lane, okay? I need this lane to go over the flyover to follow city center. Remember, we are following city center, so that's the lane we need. Out of the two, because both of them are going city center, out of the two, which one do we need? The left lane, okay? Because that's the normal driving lane. Driving or dual carriageway and motorway is actually easy because you don't have much things. All you have to do is just follow the road, do where the road is going, keep the car distance from the car in front, maintain the speed. Now, what's happening here? After the flyover, my left lane became the middle lane because there's another lane joining. So what do I have to do? I have to go back to my left lane. Why? Because that's the normal driving lane. Mirror, mirror, signal left. Okay, I'm looking at the blind spot, blind spot, and change lane. Done. Okay, so why did I change lane? Because that is the normal driving lane. You have to go back to your left lane when it's safe to do so, okay? So after the flyover, my lane became the middle lane, which meant there was another lane joining, which is the left lane. I needed to go back to my left lane. In the test, make sure you, in good time, meaning when it's safe to do so, go back to your left lane. I want to follow the road here, so I'm going to be driving in this lane. We're not turning left, so we're not going to go to left lane. We'll drive here. I want to show you how to change lane again. So we will change lane, mirror, mirror. And there is a car. There is a car, I'm gonna put the signal on. There is a car. The gap is there, blind spot, blind spot, change lane. Good. So I'm driving in the middle lane, okay? Now I want to go back to my left lane again. So what do I do? There is a red car. Okay, so it's 40 here. I need to keep the distance from the car in front. Okay, the car is here, red car, as you can see on the left, mirror, mirror, 
signal left okay the car is here okay okay then no, the gap isn't there blind spot blind spot they're allowing me to come they're going the other way now actually and i drive here good the dual carriage is 40 also don't overtake in the left lane so the cars in the middle don't overtake them on the left lane meaning don't undertake okay if you need to overtake the car in the middle because they're going less than 40 then you go to the middle go to the third and then come back okay it's quite busy maintaining 40 looking at the mirror make sure it's safe every now and again look at the top mirror make sure it's safe Nice and easy, nice and peace. So basically, here because they are just following the traffic, and in a slow-moving vehicle, you are allowed to undertake. It's not like you're driving; you are just following the traffic, and they are going slow because of the traffic. So in that case, you are allowed to undertake. Other than that, in general driving, you shouldn't be undertaking on the left lane. I'm going to go left, a mirror, mirror, signal left. And I'm going to go in as soon as it starts. So I'm going to go in now. So the car behind doesn't come in before me and then gives me a problem for me to change lane. So in this case, as soon as the slip road starts, change lane. I'm going to go left here. There's no one there. That's fine. I'm going to go left on the Roundabout mirror, mirror, signal left. Look on my right. Look on my right. If there's a car there, there's a car. Okay. There we go. Here there's a bus stop. Can I drive on the bus stop? Of course. If there's no bus there, you will have to drive on the bus. If it's a bus lane, and the time is telling you not to drive, then you can't drive on it. You can only drive if there's a timetable saying within that time you can't drive. Other than that, you shouldn't be driving on the bus lane. But if it's a bus stop, then yes, you can't drive on the bus stop. We want to go left here, okay? Because I want to go back to the dual carriageway again just to show you how to join on the dual carriageway from a slip road. I hope... Um, you get some idea of driving many because they think that dual carriageway is a fast road is a busy road um how am i going to change lane but remember once you get to know the dual carriageway once you've been driving or you you have been driving few times on the dual carriageway it's actually easier it's easier to drive on the dual carriageway because it's just a long road and you just maintain the speed Keep the distance from the car in front and just make sure you are in the middle of your lane and that's fine. Drive in the left lane. The car in front is going slower than you. Overtake, come back to your lane again. So from this road, in a minute, at the end, we will be joining from a slip road to a dual carriageway. Have you driven... In a dual carriageway if you're watching this video and if you're learning let me know if you've been driven did you drive in a dual carriageway and if if not or even if you did is this video helping you do you think the video is helping you to drive on a dual carriageway let me know please okay here the sign is saying i can't go right which means i have to go left mirror mirror you see going to signal because i'm joining i'm going left nobody there bus lane as you can see left lane is a bus lane and cycle lane which means we can't drive on the left lane and also it has a solid line which means we can't go to that lane unless it's an emergency or there's a problem on the on your lane maybe road work then you can't then you can otherwise you can't so here i'm joining dual carriageway 
the speed is 40 is saying so as i join it will be 40 30 now it will be 40 mirror mirror i'm going to signal because i need to join okay i'm going to speed up keep on the lower gear meaning third gear still the third gear mirror mirror flying spot flying spot change good if he was busy i would keep going on the slip road and i would stay on slip road until he's free for me to go there's a space for me to go in otherwise don't go in there okay so that's how we join a dual carriageway three lanes i'm driving on the left lane and here i'm going to be stopping So, have you been driving on the dual carriageway? Have you taken any driving lesson in a dual carriageway? In a dual carriageway? And if you did, or if you haven't, do you think this video is going to help you? Does it help? Let me know, please, on the comment or the theme of the video. And also, if you are learning, um, we have a course, online course, which gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. The course has everything a learner needs. It has more than 30 videos on the course. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. Okay. I'm going to drive in the I'm going to go under the bridge there is a roundabout we're going to go to the roundabout so this is a dual carriageway we stay in this lane if we wanted to go straight we would have we need the middle lane or the third lane but in this case we are coming off so we stay in that lane keep the distance from the car in front speed is 40 Always look out for the cars. Maybe this car wants to come in. Sometimes they just come in. So just make sure you read the road, look ahead, look well ahead, make sure they're not going, make sure the car in front is not braking. This car is not just coming in. We're gonna stay in the right lane because we're gonna go. Keep the distance when you stop so if they break down you have the space to go around you don't want to go too close where if they can't move anymore then you can't go around you'll be too close okay it's green even though it's roundabout it's green if it's green what does that mean they have stopped okay you have green that's it keep going okay We stop here because there's no space even though it's green there's no space over there now there is a space if that space wasn't there now the tra because i've already crossed the traffic light if that goes red now it doesn't matter because i've already passed the stop line here we're gonna go left okay i'm gonna go into the right lane because that's the lane and then i'm gonna go to left lane mirror mirror signal blind spot blind spot change the lane And here. Next traffic coming up, I want to go right. Mirror, mirror. Signal right. So I need the right lane to go right. Blind spot, blind spot, change lane. Okay. So I'm driving on the right lane now because on the traffic light coming up, I want to go right. So like I said, on the dual carriageway, left lane is normal driving lane. Right lane is to overtake or if you want to go right, you need the right lane. So in this case, 
on the traffic light, I'm going right. So mirror, mirror, signal right. And I'm going to choose the lane that I need to go to right. So in this case, as you can see, that's the lane I need to go right. There you go. Done. So I hope the video helped and I hope it helps you with your dual carriageway and hopefully with changing lane as well. Many do ask, like I said, to show a video on driving on dual carriageway as well as changing lane. Do let me know if it helps and please do make a comment what you think of the video and also if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.